First, I want to talk, though, about an epic battle for the ages that I'm obsessed with. Um, out of sheer pandemic boredom, an Arizona man named Josh posted a tweet challenging all the Joshes out there to a duel, which is awesome. Uh, the goal, decide once and for all who the ultimate Josh is. This is awesome. The weapon of choice, of course, a pool noodle. Um, this is real. It happened on April 24th, the greatest day ever, the day I was born. <laughs> Hundreds of Joshes descended onto a park to take part in noodle combat. I know, it sounds funny. It does sound weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't think of any other name. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's awesome. Check this out. Josh, it's all the little Josh. Oh my God, it's amazing. That adorable four-year-old was the last Josh standing. Let's meet little Josh, his dad, Josh Sr., along with the man who started the Josh fight. Here we go. What's up, Joshes? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Oh, my God. First of all, little Josh, congrats on being crowned King Josh. How does it feel? Great. Okay. <laughs> I love you. All right. Well, main Josh, um, this started as a gag, right? So what turned it into a major organized event? Yeah, so, you know, I, I tweeted the thing about a year ago, and it started to pick up momentum. Um, people said they would be showing up and traveling hours to be there. Um, and, you know, I realized we're probably going to need some official details. And so we chose an airport in Lincoln for the location. We sent out a date. We sent out a list of rules to follow that people knew how to compete. Um, we weren't going to actually fight, so I told everyone to bring a pool noodle. As we said, um, we decided that if someone gets hit with a pool noodle before they hit somebody else, then, you know, they're eliminated. You know, it was, it was an incredible moment. It was an incredible day. People came dressed as Jedis, Marvel characters, you name it. You know, and little Josh, the youngest um, to compete, fought valiantly and, you know, bested all of us, so. Um, and this was, all this insanity, though, it was for a really good cause, right? Yeah, so um, we, we set up a link to donate um, for the Children's Hospital and Medical Center Foundation in Nebraska. Um, we also asked people to bring non-perishable food items for the Lincoln Food Bank. Um, and we collected a ton of food for the food bank and raised over $14,000. Um, wow. And Josh Wine actually contacted us and donated an additional $30,000. So just an incredible event. Wow. So. Well, to dad, Josh, I love all the, <laughs> the Joshes. Uh, those causes are pretty close to your heart, right, as a family, right? Yeah, well, um, little Josh here had been a patient at the Children's Hospital so once we found out like where the donate where the money was being donated, you know, it, it meant a lot to us because he was there and you know they, they did a lot for our, our little Josh. Oh my god, little Josh, you are incredibly cute, I have to say. Oh my goodness. You need your own show. Well, thank you so much, Joshes. I want a Kelly battle now. I think it'd be fun. Guys and girls would show up. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining us, all right? Thank you, Kelly. All right. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. <laughs>